I, I can't really show you. <laughs> hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog. Hello everybody, it is August 13th. It is one o'clock in the afternoon and it is Thursday and I am planning to vlog all of today and tomorrow. I have a few updates obviously. I am not in my parents house anymore. I moved back to college because classes start in just a little bit under one week. It's very messy, like it's horribly messy. As you can see behind me, my shelves are literally in disarray. I decided to bring my TBR cart with me so you bring more, even more books to school. There's one whole other shelf right here that you can't see that's the same size as this one. I am thinking on reorganizing it while making this vlog, so you might see that. I got my hair redone, obviously. I hadn't gotten it done since January of 2020, and it's normally, I get it redone like once every three and a half months. And so I was planning on making an appointment after spring break and uh, literally on my way back from spring break was when everything hit with the virus. So that did not end up happening. It's a little bit darker than what I normally get, but that's okay, it'll fade. I still love it. You can hopefully still tell it's red. So what's going on during the month of August is the Summer Fling Readathon that I am one of the co-hosts for. Sarah from Steeped Books created this readathon, the Summer Romance Readathon. I will link my announcement video down below um, talking about it all, but it's basically it's a month long readathon where you have this prompt board and you maybe fill in all the prompts or some of the prompts if you want. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update for the readathon. So I've actually read four books for this readathon already and I already have like one little bingo it's not a bingo board but I've completed one little column I've read Riker by Jerry Glenn which is a motorcycle club romance I gave this one 2.5 out of 5 stars didn't really like it it's like this girl's on the run and she's afraid of motorcycle people because something happened in her past with the motorcycle club but then she meets a guy who's in a motorcycle club at her new job and uh things spark up but she's on the run from an evil guy trying to buy her and it's it wasn't good <laughs> i ended up reading the beast by katie robert this was for the prompt of diversity because all three of our main characters in this book are bisexual this is a fairy tale reimagining of beauty and the beast the three main characters are inspired by the beast gaston and Belle, and if them three got together and it was so very good 4.5 out of 5 stars i didn't give it a full five because it's not my favorite thing of all time but it was still amazing and then i ended up reading tangled up in christmas by lisa renee jones i read the first book for the christmas in Julyathon and really liked it and this one unfortunately was a huge miss for me this was cowboy ranch romance but not really because it's it's kind of i don't know the main character hero is a vet but he's also a rancher and then our main character woman is a photographer and a party planner maybe i don't remember um i literally listened to the whole entire thing on my drive back to college but i don't remember a thing it was so uneventful I didn't enjoy it. I think I gave it three stars or 2.5. I don't remember, but unfortunately this one is not it for me. It was just so boring. It was so boring. And then yesterday I ended up finishing Cold Hearted Rake by Lisa Kleypas. This is for like old school historical category. I actually didn't finish this book around a year ago. It was a buddy read with my friend Kayla from Literature Reads here on booktube. I don't know if she finished it, but I didn't finish it. I was so bored. I physically read it when I tried to read it for the first time and I only got like a couple chapters in and was so bored. I did not like our heroine. Like I didn't like this book, but then I picked up the audiobook off of Libby and it changed for me. Wow. I ended up giving this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. I love the setup that it has. I'm very excited for book number two and I am planning on hopefully reading it this weekend for the historical romance readathon. I'm so happy that I decided to give this book another chance. I really did enjoy this one. Reading plans for the next two days. I am currently listening to The Madness of Lord Ian Mackenzie by Jennifer Ashley. This is for the 
disability square because our main character Ian has autism and I am loving this so much. The hype is definitely well deserved so far. I think I'm a third of the way through it. So basically our main character hero Ian has autism, a guy that he knows is marrying this widow. He goes to like see her and meet her for the first time and tells her like the horrible things that her to be husband has like done. Like he's gonna be cheating on her. He has women like in this house that he keeps and it's crazy. And so he basically saves her from this marriage, but he's also like, I find you very attractive. I want to marry you. They start up a little bit of a something something and it's really great. I really love our heroine and how patient and understanding she is. I love her very much. I love Ian very much. I love how blunt he is. I'm really loving this audiobook. My physical book that I hopefully will be reading is After Hours Seduction by Janice Maynard. This is my first ever Harlequin book and this fits the prompt for category romance. So I'm very excited about this. It's only 220 pages long. The summary says, when Katie Duncan agrees to work with her boss's brother, she knows she's stepping into the lion's den. The man she'll be living with is her former lover, billionaire Quentin Stone. Their passion sizzled until Katie couldn't accept Quentin's wealthy world. She walked away to save herself. Now the alpha CEO is back in her life, tempting as ever and hell bent on seducing Katie back into his bed. So this is like a second chance romance, which I don't really read all that many second chance romances. So I'm very excited for this. I also kind of wanted to go to half price books today or tomorrow. <laughs> we will see. I don't know if I should because I really want to get one of those mystery historical romance eBay boxes for my birthday, which is coming up soon on the 4th of September. I really want to get one of those for my birthday. So I don't know if I should save up the money for the box or go and go to just half price books today or tomorrow and see what they have. I don't know. I may just browse. Maybe I should just do both. <laughs> also, if you've done one of those EB boxes, how long does it take to come in? Because should I order it now for my birthday or like right a couple days before my birthday? Very curious. Please let me know down below. I am basically just watching booktube. I think I have Mayana up here with her uh, book haul. <laughs> I am going to be trying to reorganize this bad boy behind me. I have like a vision of what I want, I think. I think I want all of the books that I have read on these. Um, if I have enough, I didn't bring every single one of my books. I mostly brought books I hadn't read yet. <laughs> so that's what the TBR card is for. I may be like wanting to do books that I've already read in these shelves and be like one square is like a series. Like one square would be Twilight or one square would be like Sarah J Mass, which isn't gonna work. I didn't bring all of my Throne of Glass books with me because there were too many. Enough about that, I'm just gonna stop this clip is very long already. <laughs> reorganizing with my bookshelves. <laughs> I decided to go and read by the pool instead and that was really fun. It was really hot. It's like a hundred something degrees in Texas right now so that's ridiculous. I am on page 24 of After Hours Seduction by Janice Maynard. This woman and this man were lovers and they worked in the same office but nobody knew about them being together. I mean character hero here was in a car accident and his leg is mangled up ever since. Um, he's had like three surgeries on it and he really wants to get better because he is like a world champion skier. I believe his brothers ask this woman who works in their company to help take care of him for a little bit and help him stay on track with his work in this secluded cabin in Maine and they don't know that they used to be together so they broke up like two years ago and he has no idea why she dumped him and she's saying that he's too superficial that's the reason why she dumped him is because he's superficial and he didn't really want to get to know her he just wanted to like wanted her for her body he didn't want like her 
and so it's, I'm gonna be very interested to see what happens next. I'm almost halfway through The Madness of Floridian McKenzie and I am loving it. <laughs> I just like finished like my favorite chapter so far and so while I go reorganize my bookshelves later I think I'm going to go and rewind that chapter all over again and listen to it all over again. It's like the first time they're together. I loved it. <laughs> I just finished The Madness of Lordy and Mackenzie. It's like 7.30 at night now. I just finished it. Oh my gosh. I love this book. I love it. Five stars. So good. The hype is so well deserved, y'all. Like, this book is so good. It's so good. I loved it. Oh my gosh. I need a physical copy now. I've decided I'm going to have price books tomorrow. And I'm, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna try and find a copy but the half price books is in a college town and i don't really presume that there will be a lot of historical romances because i don't know a lot of college students who read historical romance <laughs> so it's not going to be like my half price books that i have in houston so if worst comes to worst there's no historicals in half price books i'm going home for my birthday the weekend of the fifth and hopefully that weekend i will find myself a copy because i want one very badly i want like I want the new version and the old version. I want the blue cover and the purple cover. If you know, there's the blue cover and then there's the purple cover. I want both of them. I can't wait to continue on with the series. I think all of them are on Audible Escape, which is so exciting. I have even more historical romances that I want to read for the historical romance readathon now. Is it funny that I haven't even looked at any of the prompts? And I'm still gonna try and participate. I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging because I think my mom's gonna be in town that weekend and staying with me. I don't really like vlogging in front of her. So I don't think I'll be vlogging. I might be tracking my progress on Instagram. So maybe follow me on there. This was so good. I recommend it. It it was amazing. I loved it. If you want historic romance to just pull at your heartstrings, there wasn't anything like sad about it. Like, I don't know, just there was a one part where I was literally tearing up and I was like, why are you tearing up? <laughs> this man just thinks that he can't ever experience love because the way his brain works. Beth showed him how. <gasps> it was so good. I also finished my bookshelves, kind of. I think this is how it's gonna stay. We will see. Okay, sorry for the horrible lighting. It is like 7 30 at night. I've done all the books that I've read over here and in Hist some historicals and mass markets are in that little bucket because I can really fit them in here. And then these are all the books I have not read yet. And I decided to do my method that I did back at home where I did the book that I want to read the most and it travels down like this. Boom. Not like these aren't correct though. I don't know. I could just couldn't fit them all. So there's, these are just some stacks of paper, mass market paperbacks, but I want to read those more than probably all of these on this shelf, if that makes sense. And then over here, we have my big, tall sci-fi fantasy books, with obviously the host being displayed, because it's one of my favorite books of all time. Sarah J. Mass books, um, Missing Akatar, my friend Hannah Grace is borrowing it. And then we have YA books, except for these two. These are always in the YA section at a bookstore, but they should not be um and then these are some more just mismatched ones those two are what no those are all way i have two copies of those because that one's signed and that one is so beat up and well loved of course jane Eyre, little woman's displayed seven husbands these are all romance obviously then we have more romance these are more of my favorite favorite ones royally series radiance obviously one of my favorite romance books of all time if not my favorite romance book of all time and then we have more romance these are christina lauren and then um colleen hoover and then these are my sci-fi books why sci-fi we have lunar chronicles all in here and then we have the these broken stars trilogy which is one of my favorites and not a lot of people have read and then of course the twilight section <laughs> and then again mass market paperbacks 
down there. I am going to go cook dinner for myself, maybe some broccoli. Our microwave is broken and no one has come to fix it yet. I put it in a work order, so I can't use the microwave, so I can't make. It's this amazing spring onion soup that I love, I'm obsessed with, but it only tastes good when you put it in the microwave. I've tried it on the stove before and it doesn't taste as good and I can't eat it because our microwave doesn't work. I'm gonna go cook up something and read some more of my Harlequin book. <laughs> So I think this is going to be my last update for the night at least. I haven't read any more of this. I cooked some dinner, made myself some broccoli and some pasta. Also, nobody probably eats this except for me and my family, but it is like so good. Okay, so if you didn't know, I have celiac disease where I can't eat gluten. So I only eat corn tortillas and corn tortillas are literally my life. I eat at least two every day because I make egg tacos every morning for myself. So I love corn tortillas so very much. I think even if I wasn't gluten-free, I wouldn't eat flour tortillas. They taste gross to me, I think. Back when I could eat them, I don't think I even liked them. Um, or back when I thought I could eat them. I've always had celiac disease. I just didn't know until I was seven. So anyways, something that my family and I did one day when we make spaghetti, we don't make garlic bread. Because one day when I was a kid, I think my mom, we ran out of bread somehow obviously we run out of bread and we made pasta and we really wanted garlic bread but we didn't have any bread so my mom decided to put tortillas in the oven instead you get a tortilla you lather it in some butter and put on some garlic salt that is your garlic bread or garlic tortilla dude it is so good i honestly prefer it to garlic bread it is it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> probably the only person in the world who probably eats that is me and my family. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I had some of those. I stuck those in the oven and you just dip it in your pasta, like garlic bread. It's kind of like, I like to think of it as uh, from iCarly, the spaghetti taco. Um, Cause you can also like get your, like rip off a piece of the tortilla and then you can get some sauce on it, but then also get some noodles in there. So it's like one of the spaghetti tacos from iCarly. So. <laughs> So that's something I love to eat and really recommend, even though it's really weird to some people. I don't care. Also, I have decided to start up journaling again. Um, I used to journal like every single day and I come in, I have like little spells of like, oh, I really want to start journaling again. And then I write every day for maybe a week and then I stop because I'm, I'm too tired or I don't feel like doing it. And then once I stop, I just don't do it again. It's just like working out. Like I'll get a consistent workout schedule. I'll go work out every day. And then one day I'll be like, I've worked out every day. I'm going to reward myself by not working out today. And then I never go back. <laughs> uh, which is why I try to work out every single day. It also really helps with anxiety. I didn't go to the gym today just because I decided to sunbathe. That's how I got my sweat out today. It was over hundred degrees in Texas today. So, uh, got very sweaty today. I'm trying to task myself to journal every single day and um, I started yesterday and this one is today's entry. I find it so therapeutic. I put on the Twilight soundtrack and just wrote for a couple minutes and I, I loved it. I really recommend writing every single day. I need to start doing it more. So I started this journal yesterday and I want to try and write it every single day and so I was trying to find a journal because I have hundreds of journals that I hadn't written in yet because I just want to start with a new blank journal and like I came across a journal that I started and then I stopped like maybe I have like the first four or five pages like written in and I've realized like I want a journal so I could remember things like I just opened a journal like last night and I had only written in the first page and this was 2018 that I written in I was talking about like some pretty deep stuff that I haven't thought about in a very long time and I'm like whoa I totally forgot about that I have a horrible memory so I really want to like help me remember things in the future by writing stuff down that I did today so that 
that's what I did. <laughs> Probably don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry for rambling. I'm going to read some of this right now. I'm going to clean my room up a little bit before I go to bed, go take a shower, watch some booktube, and go to sleep. And so I'll chat with y'all tomorrow. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I just got ready for the day, ate breakfast. I'm currently watching Sarah's new video. I want to go to Half Price Books today. Probably not the best idea because I already have so many books and actually every single book like fits perfectly in my shelves right now. I'm also very curious because I've never been to the Half Price Books in my college town before and I've only been to the Barnes & Noble here once. I only lived here for like maybe two months or two and a half months tops. I'm a big school person. My brain works in the way that if I'm out doing something fun, I'm always thinking about, I could be studying right now, or I could be doing homework right now. I could be learning more about this. Like that's the way I am with school. I never really went out or did anything. I also don't have any friends here. So um, if you go to my college, please <laughs> be my friend because <laughs> I don't have any. I'm gonna go find a mask and um, head on over to Half Price Books. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear the air conditioning. There's nothing I can do. It's over 100 degrees in Texas right now. Yeah, maybe I'll go turn it down a little bit. Okay, I found all of these. I am literally so happy. I had no idea that the historical romance section would be huge. This town is full of 18 to like 20 something year olds. You know, I, I didn't expect there to be a huge historical romance section and holy crap was there a huge historical romance section. So I think I'm going to do like, yeah, lock the door, um, a historical romance haul or just a book haul. So I'm not gonna show you all of them, but dude, I found some literal beautiful books. Okay, let me just show you a few books that I found. Like some of them I never heard before, but the covers are literally gorgeous. Okay. So the first thing that I bought, that I showed y'all that I bought, is this. Okay, so I saw it and it says special edition exclusive Breaking Dawn concert series DVD featuring Blue October's Justin Furstenfield. I don't know what that means. Full color poster of a Bella and Edward and more. So I was like, what the heck? I opened it, I flipped to the back and there's this. I don't know what this is. Then <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. I, I can't really show you. <laughs> look, I, you can't even see it. I need to like go to my, oh, and it's like one of those hardbacks when you take the just dust jacket off, it's also like on there. I am so happy right now, dude. Dude, I have another book to add to my little Twilight Square shelf. But the only issue is, I don't think I have another space for another book. I'm so upset, but I'm in love. Okay, and then let me show you. I got, I found the next book in um, Lisa Kleepa's The Ravenels series, because um, I just finished the first one two days ago. So I found Marrying Winterborn, and here is The Step Back, which I am so excited for this romance. I'm gonna show you one more, and I found um, Hunger Like No Other, which is the first book in the Immortals After Dark series by Cressley Cole, which I've heard amazing things about. I actually have the ebook for it. I purchased the ebook for it, but look at this cover. I've heard great things about this series from 
Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers and Jen from The Book Refuge, so I am so incredibly excited. <laughs> okay, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other books. I also found a beautiful Lisa Kleypas, but I can't show you it because I want y'all to come watch my book haul that I make. Packed up all the books. <laughs> Time to go back home and maybe film a book haul. We will see. <laughs> I'm back. I just finished filming my book haul, which I'm very excited for y'all to see. I found some gems of romance books very excited i also forgot to tell y'all when i was walking into the store this old man was walking out and he held the door open for me and i was like thank you so much and he was like i'd hold open a door over an hour to let a pretty girl like you in and i was like oh my gosh <laughs> i was like you're so sweet like i was literally about to tear up right when I walked in the store. I, y'all, I rarely get compliments from people, and so this old man literally just made my day. <sighs> literally, I almost started tearing up when I get in there. It was, he was so sweet. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to show y'all the poster just up close. Here it is. I'm putting it up in my room for sure. This is what, like, Stephanie Meyer's vision is of Edward and Bella. I also have the, like, illustrated guide right here where she has all of the illustrations of all of the characters and what they should look like. Also, I want to know what this CD is all about. I think there's just songs on it and stuff. I'm going to go read some of my Harlequin book because I haven't read any of that today. Hello everyone. It is later in the night. It's about to hit midnight so this is my last clip for this vlog i just finished a couple minutes ago this book after hours of seduction i'm giving this book two stars <laughs> and i think i'm being generous if i'm being honest i didn't like this i reached maybe a third of the book and i was basically skimming the rest of it it was not enjoyable it was not good for me i was super bored this 220 page book in this little little tiny book 220 page book took me three days to read that's how bored i was the first 20 pages were interesting and then i just went downhill i don't really <laughs> recommend this book um which is kind of sad because i was looking forward to my first harlequin book and it did not hold up to it. I found a few typos. It was so cringy. There was no chemistry. And like, for people who had dated two years ago, who had dated for a while, they knew nothing about each other. They knew nothing about their families. Like she didn't even know things about her boss, who's like been her boss for forever and she's super close with. Like, I don't think it was fleshed out at all. And there just was so many different things going on. It was so chaotic. It was not good. I did though, I came across a book at Half Price Books today that I should have got, I didn't get it. But it was a Harlequin book, the cover was stunning and I wanted it so badly. Here's the book, I don't remember the name of it, but it has to do with like a masquerade. I saw her wearing a mask and I was like, I want that book. I thought I bought too many books, so I put that one back, but now I want it. And hopefully that one's way better than this one because this was not it, sis. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna end of this vlog so the two books that i read in this reading vlog this book which completed the category romance prompt in the summer fling readathon and then i also completed the madness of lordy and mckenzie by jennifer ashley which by the way they didn't have any jennifer ashley books at half price books which made me so sad um but it's okay i'll find a copy somewhere else but i gave that book five stars obviously i loved it i don't think i read any other books i think i started joe and laurie that book joe and laurie the ya retelling of little women but if joe got with laurie i think i started that maybe read five pages by the pool but it was so hot i got a headache stopped reading it i don't remember what happened <laughs> so that doesn't really count but i want to start it again very soon there you have it there's the end of this reading vlog please let me know down below if you read any of these books or if you plan to but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye mm -hmm.